Yani over six journal entries are there, six headings are there. Those things you have to remember. While parsing, you have to remember whether issued at par or premium. Bank account data to debenture. Debenture account data to bank account. It is the name of the debenture. You should consider only 10% discount. Hello everyone, I am your other sir, lecturing Vidyashram PU College, the temple of excellence. So, we are in the seventh session of your topic called Issue and Redemption of Deventure. Now, in the previous session, we worked out problems, which are 12 marks problems. Now, in the previous almost three sessions, we learned journal entries. As I told you, in this kind of problems, major thing is journal entries. If you are good with journal entries, easily you can score 12 marks. Numbers are very simple. Whatever numbers given, simple calculation you have to do and you have to write the numbers. But the major thing is journal entries. There are over six journal entries are there, six headings are there. Those things you have to remember. Today we will do one problem that was your question paper problem so as well as for your examination concern similar kind of problem you can expect. This will be your question for your seventh session. Pass the journal entries for the following. First one. Issue of 50,000 6% debentures at par, redeemable at par. The first one is what? Issued also at par and redemption also at par. So first one will be par and par. This will be issue and this will be redemption. Redemption means what? Repayment. Now first one is done. We will go for journal entries later. Second one. Issue of 70,000, 6% debentures at discount. Your issue will be discount. And redeem, redeemable at par. Redemption is at what? Par. Remember, while doing problem, whatever they have mentioned, 6% debenture. This 6% we will not calculate anywhere. Whatever 10% discount they have given, we have to calculate. So, don't be in bias. This 6% only the name of the debenture. You have to mention that 6% debenture. But remember, you should not consider this 6% for any calculation. Whatever discount percentage given, whatever premium percentage given, those things we should consider. Now, Issue at discount and redeemable at par. Your second one is over. Now third one. Issue at premium, redeemable at par. As I told you, those six entries keep, keep it with you. While doing answer for this, you have to see those journal entries. Unless you see those journal entries, you cannot pass this answer. Now. For first five to six problems, you have to keep those six journal entries in front of you. While doing answer, you have to see issued at par and redeemable at par. Which one? First, second, third. Like that, you have to remember. Now, all three. The third one is what? Issued at premium. Redeemable at par. Issued at premium and redeemable at par. You have to check which journal entry we have to do. Next one. Issue of debenture at par. Issue at what? Par. And redeemable at premium. At what percentage? 10% premium. Next. Issue 125,000, 6% debentures at discount. So it must be discount. And redeemable at 
premium. You should consider this as premium. So total you have five entries. All five entries you have to pass. While passing you have to remember whether issued at par or premium. Issued at premium or par. Everything one by one you have to check. We'll solve this problem. So this will be your complete 12 marks problem. Now your first one always start pro with your problem with heading. So you have to mention that journal entry. So the heading must be journal entry. Below that particular debit as well as credit. Now the first one I will go back to your question. Issued at par, redeemable, redeemable at par. Journal entry is very simple. Bank to debenture account, debenture to bank account. Simple one. Bank account data to debenture, debenture account data to bank account. What amount given? The amount is 50,000. So you have to mention debit side 50,000 and credit side 50. Similarly, debenture account data to bank account, 50,000, 50,000. In your first class, like your format class, the first journal entry is issued at par, redeemable at par. For that, this journal entry you have to remember. So, first one is done. Now, we'll go for second one. In this, issued at discount, redeemable at Par. Remember, what is the discount percentage? 10 percentage. It is not 6 percent. It is the name of the debenture. You should consider only 10 percent discount. Issued at discount, redeemable at par. Issued at discount, redeemable at par. Now, the journal entry will be bank account data. Discount on issue of debenture account data to debenture account. What is the actual value of debenture? I'll go back to your question. Your actual value is 70,000. Now, your actual value of debenture is how much? 70,000. Now, how much dis discount percentage? Yes, 10%. Now, in this, your actual value is 70,000 multiplied with 10%. How much you will get? You will get 7,000. This 7,000 will be considered as discount. Overall value 70. On the 10% discount, 7,000. 70,000 minus 7,000. What is your answer? 63,000. That is your bank account. Means out of 70, how much you collected? 63. 70 minus 3, your answer is only 7. Clear? Yes. This will be your issued at discount, redeemable at par. Next journal entry will be debenture to bank account, 70,000, 70,000. This is your second answer. Remember, again I am telling you, for the first five to six problems, you, are, you cannot remember the journal entries. What you should do? You have to keep that six journal entries. While doing every problem, you have to see whether it is issued at par, issued at discount, issued at premium. According to that, you have to pass journal entries. Now, your second one is over. We'll go for the third one. Issue of 40,000 debentures at premium of 5%. Remember, what is the premium percentage? 5%. Redeemable at par. Issued at premium, redeemable at par. Amount is 40,000, percentage is 5%. Your third one, this will be your journal entry. You have to mug up this journal entry when issued at premium. Redeemable at par, then this journal entry will be there. Now, in this, as I told you, it is 40,000. So, 40,000 
what is the premium? 5%. On 40,000, if you calculate 5%, you will get 2,000. 40 plus 2, 42. So 40 plus 2, how much? 42,000. You have to change this as 42,000. Your bank account is 42,000 with that. Debenture account 40,000 and premium on issue of debenture is 2,000. Always remember your debit side should matches with your credit side. Now, next one, debenture to bank account at the time of redemption, it is at par. Par means what actual value. So, 40,000, 40,000. Your third journal entry is over. Hope you understood up to this. Again, I am repeating you, journal entries you cannot learn in one or two days. It takes time. While doing problem one by one, you will be familiar with these journal entries. Only concentrate on numbers, how to fill numbers. Journal entries one week before your exam also, you can mug up. But calculation, you should be careful. Now, we'll go for the fourth one. I'll go back to your question. Your fourth one is issued at par redemption at premium. We'll check the amount with percentage. Your amount is 1,50,000. Percentage is 10%. Remember this. You know the journal entry. The amount is 1,50,000. 10% means how much? 15,000. Now, 1,50,000. 15,000. Now, how come you got 15,000? 1 lakh 50,000 multiplied with 10%. Now, redeemable at premium, issued also at premium. That's why here also 15,000 will come. Here also 15,000 will come. Now, debenture account 1 lakh 50, 15,000 and 1 lakh 50 plus 15, how much? 165 while the repayment you paid 1 lakh 60 5000 now this will be your fourth journal entry when issued at par and redemption at premium means at par it is issued at premium it is redeemed means repaid your fourth journal entry is done again i told you only numbers you have to concentrate journal entry is already you have. Now, we'll go for the fifth one. Now, I'll go back to your question. Issued at discount and redeemable at premium. Now, we have to remember what is the amount? 1,25. What is the discount? 5%. Premium also? 5%. Discount also 5%. Premium also 5%. Amount is how much? 1,25. 5,000. Now in this discount 5% premium 5% amount our debenture 1,25,000. Instead of amount I can write it as debenture. Now in this how to calculate journal entries? You know the journal entry when it is issued at discount, issued at discount and redeemable at premium. You go back to your format sheet in that what is the journal entry for issued at discount and redeemable at premium. If you check that, you will get this journal entry. Now, in this, debenture value is how much? 1,25,000. Now, in front of debenture, 1,25,000. In front of debenture, 1,25,000. This is the first thing you have to do. In front of debenture, the actual value should come. Now, we'll go for discount as well as premium. Now, Loss on issue of debenture. Loss means at the time of issue, you know that the repayment will be at premium. Again, I'll repeat. At the time of issue, you know that the repayment at 
premium means at the time of issue five percent discount at the time of repayment five percent premium you for you there is a loss of ten percent means you collected money five percent less you are giving money five percent more means at the time of collection there is a loss of five percent at the time of repayment again there is a loss of five percent five plus five there is a loss of ten percent remember now one lakh twenty five thousand multiplied with ten percent you will get twelve thousand five hundred there is a working note for this hope you understood how it is 10 percent means at the time of issue there is a loss of five at the time of repayment there is a loss of five five plus five ten percent now this is done now what is a premium it is also over five percent is the premium now one lakh twenty five plus six thousand one two fifty how much one lakh thirty one 250 1,31,250 12,500 already we have the balance will be your bank account remember first you have to do this one then this one then this this will be balancing figure 1,18,750 is your balancing figure so later don't scratch your head how we got 1,18,750 write down there itself we calculated 12,500 we have returned debenture you know it is always 1,25 6,250 is a premium 5% the remaining balance will be 1,18,750 how you got means 1,25 plus 6,250, how much? 1,31,250 minus 12,500. Your answer will be 1,18,750. Hope you understood. Please write down this small, small working note there itself. Why means? Later you will not understand how you got the 12,500. How you got this 1,18,750? Better you take screenshot of this. Why? Because you have all kinds of working note for this. Out of five entries, this is little complicated. Why? Because you have discount as well as premium. That's why both calculation we have done in a single journal entry. So be careful while doing this calculation. Now, this one is easy. 1,25 plus your premium is how much? 6,250. Total 1,31,250. This is all about your fifth journal entry. I'll revise once. This is the first one issued at par, redeemed at par. Second one issued at discount and redeemable at par. Third one issued at premium, redeemable at par. Fourth one issued at par, redeemable at premium. Fifth one issued at discount and redeemable at premium. Five types of your journal entries over. Other than this, you will not get anything. There is one more is the sixth one. In sometimes you may get sixth one, but your 12 marks problem is this much only. Clear? Yeah. Now, so this is all about your today's session. In the next session, we'll go with one more your question paper problem so that if we work out question paper problems, it will be easy for you in your examination. Why? Because same kind of questions you will get, but numbers will be changed. Thank you.